Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm with you with your Oracle card guidance. I'm a little bit later than I would have liked to have been uh, this week and I'm working with the Soulful Woman guidance cards and I hope that you will find the reading useful for you. If you do find it useful, please go ahead and comment down below. I love hearing from you. Um, yeah, I don't have any trinkets for which, from which you could choose from today. Please go ahead and make your selection using the numbers one, two, and three. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're asking, what is your guidance? What is your weekly guidance? What is the message that you've come here to hear? And we have the card that's flipped over. I'm going to go with it. So the card reads Soul's Journey and it's the number 21. Living from soul opens me to the magic that exists when I surrender to divine manifestation on its own terms and timing. So it's really interesting because this card talks uh, very much about what I've talked about in the energy forecast that I've put across this uh, weekend. And I'll link that here in order for you to to go ahead and, and have a listen, especially to the latter half of that, because it talks primarily about what this card is talking about. And, you know, the most important thing here to acknowledge is that this card's talking about being on a soul journey. It's talking about having... Uh, about living from your soul, about choosing, about deciding. It's about allowing your soul to guide you. And I think in this week, it's important for you to be able to do that. But um, that actually just doesn't mean, you know, just being guided from the soul. It means being able to surrender to that. It means to being able to surrender to the guidance of your soul and see where it takes you and how it takes you there and how long it takes you there. And you know, just allowing yourself to to move along at the the rate, at the pace at which the universe sets for you or how it is that things are mean to work out. So I feel here that the week that you will have is one where you might be thinking quite uh, eagerly about a particular matter that you'd like to bring to fruition or you'd like to see it being resolved or a situation where you just want to get things going and things are not necessarily working out because schedules are clashing or something like that. It might be uh, also a situation where uh, you, you have quite a hectic or frenetic kind of uh, busyness and this card is basically telling you to just take a step back and allow things to flow, you know, set your intention for what it is that you want to do and set your intention from a space of your soul as opposed to uh, a need or a desire that you might uh, have that is more material or ego based and um, just kind of set an intention and allow things to unravel within the realm of that intention and um, it feels to me here that the most uh, important message is not to allow yourself to be pushed too far or not to be uh, forced into doing something during this week. It feels to me more like a time where you can just um, allow yourself to go with the flow and just relax and do what you can do when you can do it, as opposed to having a particular agenda or having a particular schedule uh, which you, you have set out and perhaps you're not able to follow it for whatever reason. Perhaps you become ill or perhaps others' schedules are not uh, working with yours or perhaps it's just not the right time and it's okay at this moment not to do something. It's okay not to go on that trip that you might have planned. It's okay not to begin that project that you might have uh, set yourself to begin. It's okay to delay it a little bit. It's okay to uh, let things just flow uh, for the moment. What is it that you feel like doing? What is it that feeds your soul at this moment? And what is it that you can do that requires almost no effort at all or gives you something back in return? So I feel like uh, this card is very much about a turning inward, turning your energy inward as opposed to outward. And you might be listening to this as you actually 
set upon a week which is really full of activity and a lot of chores to do or a lot of errands to run and you might be wondering what are you talking about well I feel here that uh, if you are to encounter any delays any frustration as far as uh, things not working out in you know in a straight line as you'd like it to then uh, just take a step back and enjoy the, a sunset or enjoy a cup of coffee or enjoy something that uh, allows you to just have a moment for yourself as opposed to just rushing along and then thinking well why isn't it working out and and not be you know being confused about why it's not working out it's not the right time according to this the right time for this right now is to just be able to surrender to divine manifestation and note that when it does you need to let go of how it will unfold and to be at one with that and to be at peace with that okay so i'm going to leave it at that and wishing you all a blessed week as you go along let me know how you all are doing and i hope that you are all <laughs> doing well and you are having a blessed time okay so for those of you who've chosen the option number two i'm asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance and what is the message that you've come here to hear right now what is it that you've come here to hear and what is it that you need to know at this moment So this is such a beautiful card with such a beautiful message. And I think that this deck has really amazing um, um, cards with with meanings. And um, yeah, so the card we've chosen for number two is the number 42. And the card is called Dream Seeds. And the caption reads, I nurture my dream seeds with love and appreciation and allow them to unfold in their own time. So um, in the previous reading, those who chose option one also had a thing about time, you know. So time is something that one needs to sort of let go of at the moment or sort of um, be aware of it. Be aware that you're not necessarily placing any kind of deadlines in your time. Just leave your time elastic and leave it to be when it can be. But I think here the message for you is very much about um, allowing yourself to to plant seeds for the next five or 10 or 15 years, allowing yourself to actually think about where it is that you want to go to with your life and understanding how it is that your life will unfold for you as you go along. And, um, you know, having a plan, having an action plan, but being able to dream it into being so you know, this card is talking about being able to use the energy that you have available right now for you in this week to be able to plan and to uh, understand how your dreams will unfold for you and also to be able to prepare yourself um, for what is to come in terms of your dreams, in terms of being able to manifest what it is that you desire. And there is a bit of planning, there is a bit of um change that will come along the way and being able to prepare yourself for that mentally as well as emotionally and then just being able to you know put out there what it is that you desire in your life what is it that you want in your life and how it is that you actually going to be able to achieve all of that and then you know just put it out there and let it unfold and let it take its own course it's almost like you know as the card says dream seeds like you're planting these seeds and then you let it grow uh, and it's gonna grow with its own pace it's gonna you know you're gonna do your best to water it and to make sure that it has what it needs sunlight perhaps but you're going to you know you're going to let it grow and it's going to have its own pace and it's going to uh, come into its flowering stage when it's ready to at its own at its own pace once again and I think that that is what's important this week it's is to actually put out a plan of action understand where is it that you want to go and how it is that you want to achieve what it is that you want to achieve but then just leave it after that well make sure that you're doing what you need to for it but don't try to control 
the time frames in which it will unfold too much. Just let it go and, and let things unravel as they need to. Because it feels here like life has to happen in order for it to, to unfold in the way you need it to. And in order, there's, it needs to be a lot of growth and a lot of, you know, these phases of growth that come in and come out. And um, all of that needs to happen before you can actually achieve where you want to go to or what you need to do. And, you know, it reminds me a lot about people who have a particular goal in terms of their studies or their career. And uh, they really want to get there as soon as possible. But, you know, there's a time frame for it. And uh, the reason that there is this time frame is largely because you need to grow as an individual and you need to be able to uh, have more discipline, perhaps, or have, you know, develop certain skills that you need to still um, develop and, and learn to manage things emotionally, manage people emotionally around you. So don't be too eager to control the time frames of what is uh, going to to unveil itself or what's going to unravel itself just lay the intention set out the seeds for your dreams and let it take its course so i'm going to leave the card um there i just want to say one more thing though um i think that there's a lot of energy that you have right now that's actually building up around you it's almost palpable and you can do a lot with that and so if you have received this card if you number two is the number that you've chosen then use the energy that you have this week to be able to manifest what you have or what you want to have and uh work with that energy because it feels like it's it's quite as i said palpable you could you know you could feel it you can almost taste it and uh, you can work with this energy. All right. So I'm wishing you all a blessed week. I hope that you managed to do that successfully. I'm sure you will. <laughs> and I wish you many blessings as you go on your path. And so for those of you who've chosen option number three, I'm just going to give the cards a shuffle here. And we're asking the question that we always ask for the weekly oracle card guidance. And that is, what is it that you've come here to hear? What is it that you need to know right now? And how can you be guided in this week? What is that piece of information, that morsel of truth that you need to have in this week as you go along that's going to help you to be happy and be successful as you continue? And I feel like it might be this card here. And so we have the card number 18 for those of you who've chosen number three. The title reads Shining Bright and the caption is I shine my light and allow my creative power to burn bright. And so I feel like this is a car of, of raw power. You know, it says as you go along in this week, it's quite different from the option number one and number two. And it talks about actually going ahead on your own terms and just really pushing forth with raw power, which allowing your, your power within you to be unleashed. Um, being able to tap into that power that might have been asleep, that might have been hesitant and just allow it to run wild, to feel itself in its wild, natural form. And, you know, perhaps this uh, is speaking here to just to creative people, but I feel that this could also apply here to, to everyone in everything in your life, you know, whether it's giving your home a spring clean or whether it's embarking upon a new course of, of study or action or sport, it's about being able to do so flaming, you know, blazing um, and just be put all your energy bar around behind it and allow yourself to uh, taste something raw, to be able to go into it without any kind of um, any constraints, without any virtue almost. And um, I feel here that the, that, you know, there's so many ways in which one can experience this rawness of this power that you have in you and just being able to tap into it for once and being able to bring it outside of you is in itself a gift and how you use it thereafter is, you know, um, 
is up to you. But here the card advises you to shine your light. It talks about shining your light. And I feel that that might refer to just bringing your power out there in order to empower other people to be able to walk fearlessly in a way that almost burns through your path. And this is an inspiration for others. This works as an, as an inspiration. People are wowed by what you're doing or by the path that you've taken or the decisions that you've taken. And they can't help but um, look at you in awe for what you've done. And I think here that kind of inspiration or that power that you um, surge forth with is actually going to help others to be inspired by that as well and to follow their own path and be able to tap into their own fire as it were. I feel here that as you go along in this week there shouldn't be anything that stops you from doing what you want to do. You should be able to burn through everything that you actually desire and or, or the path to which to that that you actually desire and I feel here that uh, you're most likely to win at anything that you put your mind to and the kind of power that you move forth with through this week with is actually uh, going to be uh, quite astounding now if you are recovering from something if you've been feeling a bit down and out and you and you can't quite fathom what I'm talking about here in terms of power and in terms of being able to tap into this raw energy I think that you can use the same energy, this raw power that you have within you to kind of vault you out of that space of uh, sickness or ill health that you might have been experiencing and just bring you into a different stage, just bring you forth, bring you, um, you know, somehow out of that stage and and at least onto another stage, at least onto onto another level. I think here that um, if you are finding it difficult to translate what I'm saying into day-to-day -day, um, matters, I think, you know, what you could do is you could take to your paintbrush or you could take to your drawing board uh, or you can take to, your, you know, your sound, um, to your tunes, your, your instruments and just go for it and just really try to create something that is um, uh, really from the heart Something that's, you know, without rules, without the, the the norms, not taking into account the norms, but just simply going forth. If there's a particular theory that you have or a, an idea that you have that you've been researching, go ahead and write about it and and put your thoughts into to practice. If you've been wanting to start that book forever, but you haven't, then it's time to do that now. It's time to write the first 10 pages or the first hour of that it's time to go ahead and begin something that you can with this energy because this energy is very supportive of that for you anyway as you go along this week and I think that however it is that you are able to shine bright however it is that you feel that you can be the best that you can be and that you can shine your light onto uh, whatever you're doing go ahead and take that action to that and see how it's going to move your head in this week and please do comment down below and let me know how it's been going for you and how it worked out for you i'd appreciate the feedback there's a rebellious nature to to this card as well there's also something about you know how this person goes about doing things without the care for others or even in the descent of others and i think that um that shouldn't actually matter too much to you as you go along just go ahead and do what you need to do for yourself and don't let anything stand in your way in this week all right i'm wishing you all the best and many many blessings um as you go along and i hope that the week that you have is astounding as this card uh shows it to be and uh yes i wish you a very good time ahead please stay healthy and safe and uh, blessings abound from kismet rising